Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to Savio, I'm going to be doing a taste test from Switzerland. Let's have a look in the box. Oh, look at all these goodies in here. There's a flag drawn on it. How cool is this? I really treasure little things like that for some reason. I get weird about it. I greened on the envelope somehow. I don't know how I did that. So, oh, look, a beautiful card. Is it a train or a tram? It's a train, isn't it? I should know the difference by my age. <laughs> This is my city. We have beautiful lake mountains surrounding us and great forests. That looks absolutely beautiful. I wonder if I'll ever get to go there. My name is Savia. I'm 18 years old and I live in Switzerland. Hi Savia. Thank you so much for the box of goodies. I really enjoyed watching your videos and actually been watching for a few years now. Wow! My mother and I have sent you our favourite snacks and treats. Let's see if they're going to be my favourites. They might be. I've got to take a photo for Instagram. One of my famous blurry photos. Everyone loves those. Got to smile. Did I look happy enough then? I think I did. Right, that's that one, isn't it? <laughs> I suck at Instagram. I really do. So let's do a Switzerland taste test. The first thing I'm going to try is this. You're probably wondering, why is that unwrapped? Because I forgot to hit record, didn't I? But the good news is that you can actually see the candy bar now. Look at this. As you can see, it's got hazelnuts in it. This is the packaging here. It comes in a cardboard box. Then it comes in alfoil. There's this little pull thing, and I pull it. I opened it properly. I was so excited about it. And then I saw I hadn't hit record and the excitement died. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is and the smell of this thing is absolutely amazing. I could sit here and sniff it all day. Chocolate on the outside there and some sort of a magical feeling which is, uh, I could read it. No, I can't. It's in another language. There you go. Read that for me, will you? Thank you. Can I break a bit off? Oh, so let's try this ragusa. Mmm! This is amazing! Oh, sorry, I almost spat and did weird things. Mmm! Oh! The cream stuff in the middle here, this cream chocolatey filling, it's like a hazelnut squishy filling. It tastes a little bit like how Nutella should be. This is what I want Nutella to taste like. The chocolate on it is just like, oh, it's magic. It's really beautiful. Mmm! Oh, this is so good! Oh, I did a love heart. When I'm really excited about things, I randomly clap. <laughs> Cambly butterfly. They feel quite light. Come on out. Oh, oh, okay, some of them are a little bit broken, but I've got some whole ones there, and I'll try and get one of those out to show you. Oh, hello. Oh, they are super, super skinny and light and thin. Oh, Far out they smell good. It's got some sort of slithery weird white thing in it and I think that's some sort of a nut, is it? Or am I just the nut? Oh yum. Yum! Oh I love that. Oh these are too too easy to eat aren't they? Super light and super sweet. They've got a really beautiful buttery finish to them. It's got little slithered almonds in there. Might even be pistachio. I don't know my nuts very well. I'm not a nut specialist. It says here, oh, fire it. I'll read it anyway. So softest, soft, soft, softestissimo, fatissimo, something rather. Al burro con. I can't read it. Wow, it's got another language on there too. Pick one, any language. There's probably going to be English on here somewhere. Biscuits. No. I saw something I thought I recognised and it was French. <laughs> I can't even recognise English anymore. Part of my dyslexia, I suppose. All you need to know about these biscuits is that they're super light and buttery and they've got these beautiful little slithers of nuts in there. Absolutely delicious. I do a weird thing with biscuits. When I see broken ones in the packet, I like to eat all the broken ones up first so then it's all good again. I've repaired the packet of biscuits. I mean, sure, I've eaten half of them, but I've also repaired them. <laughs> Toblerone. This is Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat and salted caramelized almonds. Get out. That is so good. Huh? Interestingly enough, I actually hurt myself with a Toblerone once. Dropped it on my foot. I actually drew blood with a Toblerone. So here it is. 
Look at that and it's beautiful foil packaging there. It looks like little Swiss Alps. You could also stab the roof of your mouth with this one, I suppose. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've had a toddler room, but I absolutely love these things. Oh, yes. Is there an easier way to get this foil off? I don't think so. There it is there. And as you can see, it says Toblerone across it. Beautiful milk chocolate. Oh, I love it. Mmm. The taste of those beautiful caramelized salty almonds in there really adds another dimension to this chocolate. Oh, oh. Still get bits that get stuck in your teeth with the little pieces of toffee thing, but it's totally worth it. Because this chocolate is beautiful and smooth and delicious and oh my goodness, I love it. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried Toblerone before. I think most people have and if you haven't, go out and get one. They're absolutely delicious. Sweeple Wave Chips. These have been made since 1958. Look at these guys, they're doing some serious chip delivery there. That's something I can win but I can't. Peel that off. What could I have won? Cash! Really? <laughs> oh, I could also win a barbecue. I wonder if they'll ship that to Australia. I'm sure they would. Or a soccer ball. I don't want that. Let's peel that off because I can't win it. It says they're extra crunchy. They're natural tasting. And they've got little green specks in them. So I think that that's going to be chives. I don't know. Oh, it says sour cream flavor. In English. <laughs> in the bag there oh wow oh hello look at all those beautiful little green specks in there oh mmm got a really yummy salty flavor to it and the sour cream flavor is really quite nice through it it's not too strong it's not too much it's just the right amount these are a really good potato chip Love them, they're absolutely delicious. Time for a beverage break, and today I have this, and it's called a Rivella Das Original. I've never seen this before, it doesn't really say much about it, does it? Oh, it's okay, it's alright. Oh, okay. It's the colour I thought it was going to be. Oh no, it's going to be one of those things I've got to work the flavour around. If I don't, then I'm a bad taste tester. Cheers! What's that? What's this? I like it, I just don't know what it, what is it? It's not really, really sweet. I mean, there's sweetness in there, but it's not over the top sweet, which is nice. It's quite refreshing and sparkly. And it, it's, I don't know what it is. What's this? Whatever's going on in this drink, I do not know. It's not a flavour I've had before. It's not. And I could be wrong. I hope it's not something really basic like grapes or something like that because it does not taste like ginger beer or anything like that. I like it. What's this? It's got like a mm, finish on it. Like a weird sort of smooth finish on it which I cannot explain to you. Please let me know if you've had this before and you know what the flavour of this is because I, I don't know. I mean good news is it's not something I'm allergic to, it's not something I'm offended by and it's something I quite like the flavour of it but I don't know what it is. I wonder what I'm drinking. <laughs> I really don't know. Overall though it's a nice soft drink and it's something I would return to again definitely because it's quite subtle in its flavour. Lint chili chocolate. Is this going to be super hot? It's noir which is a dark chocolate. I like dark chocolate. I like chili. Do I like them together? I don't know. Even the way you open the lint package is special. I love that it comes in the cardboard. Oh there it is. How beautiful. That is a beautiful dark coloured chocolate. Well, so far I can't really taste a lot of chili in it. Oh, the heat of the chili in it is slightly building up, but it's not super hot or anything. It's quite a subtle chili in it. The chocolate is one of the nicest dark chocolates I've ever had. Oh, hello chili. Yeah, you sort of notice the chili build up after you've actually had a little bit more of it. This one is Jules Joux and it's a paprika chip. And it's got an adorable little potato chip on the front there. Oh no, there's a big long word I can't read. Mit oh, blah, blah, shung. 
avec surprise with a surprise is this just got a surprise in it you've got to be kidding is there going to be something in here can you see a surprise in there well oh this i got a present oh wow the bag is so slippery from the oil on the chips the surprise is you can't open it I'm supposed to put that on me and it's a potato chip playing football. Hmm, I don't think I want that on me. Um, and what's this? I honestly don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> you can actually collect nine different tattoos. 12 foosball figurines. Figurines de foot. See, I got really excited. I saw this and I thought I was going to get something like that in my packet of chips, but why would I? I don't even know what that is, but I want it. Oh, wow. Look at that beautiful orangey color to them. Paprika chips. They've got this little smokiness to them that you can taste on the back of your palate. They're salty, they're smoky tasting, they're delicious. These are beautiful potato chips. Absolutely love them. Last thing I have is this. It looks really interesting. It feels like it's in between a cake and a cookie, a biscuit. And it's at uh, do I have to say it? Appenzella Barrel Beer. Appenzella Barrel Beer. Beep, beep, Justin Bieber. Look at the beautiful design on the front there too. How gorgeous is this? I'm sure you all wear those outfits. But your ancestors probably did. <laughs> Get two beautiful little things inside here. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a design on the front of it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Have I got it up the right way? Oh, it smells really delicious. I think there's gonna be a filling hiding in here. Is it marzipan? Oh. Mm. This tastes like marzipan to me. Marzipan and I are not good friends. I, I really, I'm trying to say something nice. <laughs> There is something nice about this though. I really love the outside of this. It's like a beautiful soft cookie and it's got a nice bit of spice in there which I'm really enjoying. But then I got to the middle of it and hello, there's some sort of a marzipan filling in there. Having said that though, the marzipan flavour is quite nice. It's not too strong and I would eat it definitely. I wouldn't go back and get another one. <sighs> marzipan. Why do so many people love marzipan? I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I mean, honestly, what word here means marzipan? If I went over there, I would buy this thinking, yum, yum, these look delicious. What word's marzipan? Please let me know. <laughs> oh, I have more. Mmm. I love the outside of it though, that is yum. I hope you enjoyed this taste test and thank you so much, Xavier, for sending me all of these amazing treats and a big hi to you and your family. And if everyone in the comments below could thank Xavier because without him, this taste test would not be possible. If you want to support me and my channel, please remember to give this video the thumbs up, share and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Bye.